What's up guys, we're back with another video and this is, in my opinion, the number one drill you want to put into your arsenal to improve your ball handling. So you're going to start off by taking two cones, you're going to stand shoulder width apart and you're going to put them in front of your feet, that's going to be your base. And as you can see, I'm starting off right away. I'm dribbling the ball with my right hand, only taking one dribble in between each of those spots and coming all the way back. This is called cuffing the ball. Now you may be wondering what cuffing the ball is. Cuffing the ball is that ability to move your hand around the ball while keeping control. So I've noticed, and I've read about this, over time, you lose that ability to move your hand around the ball as you're controlling it, but you don't lose your hand speed. This drill is going to be perfect to help you maintain that ability to keep control of the ball as you're speeding with your dribble. So with this drill, you could go for time or you could go for number of reps. As you see, what I'm doing is I'm resetting my timer and I'm going for reps in 20 seconds and I'm trying to go as fast as possible, trying to keep control. And then when time's up, reset, switch hands, and go at it again. So now we're doing the exact same thing, but now we're adding some combo moves. So as you can see, right now, we're doing the exact same thing. I'm dribbling, taking on each spot, and as I'm coming back, I'm selling. I got a crossover, boom, boom, quick double cross. Use your imagination when you're working out. So as you can see, I'm trying to go game speed. So as I'm going through my cross, imagine I got a defender in front of me and I'm selling that cross. I'm trying to go with speed and I reset and come back and do it all over again. Next up, we're gonna have a between the legs and crossover. Otherwise, this is Tim Hardaway's killer crossover. five minutes I guarantee you'll feel your handle is a lot more sticky